Hi everyone, this is Phyllis, Silver Cat's Crafts, and this video is uh, being made for the collab uh, channel that I joined, Crafts for Days, and um, this week's um, theme is, uh, you know, get to know us, our intro, what we like to do. Um, I've already put up information on the Instagram about me and I will of course put up some um, uh, like a photo montage of some of the crafts I like to make or have made. Um, one of the things that I first got started doing was um, duct taping um, and then of course I started doing rain balloon. I love both of them. Um, I like to incorporate um, sewing uh, into my duct taping so I do make sewn duct tape purses and I'll have some uh, pictures on my Instagram for those because I'm um, not sure where I put mine <laughs> I put it away <laughs> but the rest of them that I've made I've already sold um, I of course make regular duct tape purses of all sizes just using duct tape as well uh, I like to make um, recycled crafts um, I really enjoyed making uh, crafts using the duct tape roll, the empty rolls, uh, and with um, soda pop plastic bottles, the one liter size. So on my, um, you should be see some pictures and I think also on my regular channel, Silver Cast Crafts, where I made some of these. I made, this is the bottom part of a two liter, excuse me, one liter bottle with the um, roll uh, decorated attached to it with a little bit of ribbon make it look pretty uh, you can use it as any other cup holder so this is just a homemade cup holder I have some of my tools in it I also made one that is um, incorporating the bottle the roll and a CD and I made a vase for my flower pins and you can make them to decorate yours that you haven't sold yet or if you've made a bouquet for someone and you want to have something to put it in you do the same thing and this is just uh, upside down top part of the bottle As you can see the cap is down here and then this is the top part of the bottle that I removed and uh, and then also uh, you can make one for yourself just to hold your tools I put um, my knives in this one here um, it's got rocks in the bottom of it uh, for stability uh, those little decorative rocks that you buy to put in the bottom of flower vases they were a lot of fun to make um, I also um, have recently been making some of the people call them glitter jars, fairy jars, timeout jars anyway they're made with bottled uh, you know but regular glass jars or you can plastic bottles which is what I recommend if you're doing them for the kids timeout jars um, I recently in my local Walgreens found uh, bottled water uh, that has a really nice cap to it that looks like it's made to be, have something made out of it so it's uh, Voss water and as you see this silver lid so when you shake once you have glitter in it, I don't have one to show you right now, but once you have glitter in it you shake it up, you can set it this way or you can turn it upside down and it will sit up this way, which I find really nice. I've made one for my grandson uh, for his timeouts because he deserves them sometimes and uh, he loves it. Um, they, uh, the point of the timeout is for them to have something to focus on, especially if they got in trouble because they were angry or something they can focus on watching the glitter drop and then hopefully by the time the glitter has already dropped to the bottom they will have been calmed down parents will have calmed down <laughs> everybody will be happy <laughs> and that's what we want we want a happy world <laughs> but anyway those are some of um, those things and then of course I have um, oh here's you can make these glitter jars out of anything this here is a one dollar jar from my local grocery store that had mandarin oranges in it. It was a really nice shape and I thought it would make the perfect little glitter jar and it did and of course I incorporate duct tape in it by covering the top and uh, it's just 
it's very relaxing to sit and watch these. I have a couple of these at my work, so when I get those angry callers that I need to calm down, you know, after they take out their anger on me, I didn't do anything, but I'm the voice of the company. So, there you go. Or if you want to get fancier, you can buy a nice uh, bell decorated uh, or cut glass jar from like Joann's or Michael's. I got mine at Joann's. And you can make glitter jars out of those. And I love the glitter at Joann's. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. But this glitter actually has little stars that floats around in there. They're little tiny stars and it's very nice. It makes it more fun than just the glitter. I mean plain glitter, different shapes glitter are fine, but these little stars, I really like these. Um, another recycling craft that I did recently on my channel was incorporating some of Duck Brand's new uh, laminated uh, shelf paper and duct tape as well. And I made uh, this upright bracelet holder using a CD covered in regular duct tape and then the paper towel roll covered in Duck Brand's contact paper uh, and it makes the perfect holder for my uh, rainbow loom bracelets. Um, I enjoy making those as well now too. Uh, I make a lot of extra ones more than I actually sell only because it's fun and relaxing. So that's another thing I like to do. Uh, I do sell my bracelets for two dollars a piece um, and then I also make uh, lanyards, work lanyards that can hold your um, IDs for work for those of us that have jobs <laughs> anyway. But you know here's a couple of them that I haven't sold yet. I've sold about ten of them but these are really nice. They'll go over your head obviously and uh, and of course they stretch if you have to stretch out your badge and touch anything you can do that. I also buy these little things in uh, Walmart that actually stretch to attach to them because it makes it nice. But that's something else and then of course all different kinds of keychains. Um, I make, um, here's the one I recently made, it's a wristlet keychain and made a little beaded dangle for it but you put your keys on this and then you can just wear it on your wrist when you're out. Don't wait, well, you won't lose it in your purse when you're getting ready to leave the store. You'll all have, have it. I don't know. I like these. I've made a couple of them for myself that I switch out occasionally. Right now on my own keys I actually am using a dangle I made. It is a um, triple I know I'm going to get this wrong. It's not my pattern but it's uh, by Jordan Tyne, Jordan Tyne 1 and it's a triple cross spiral twist, I think is what it's called. Um, I do have a tutorial on my own channel on how to make this and you'll be able to find the right name but this is what it looks like. This is the triple. Um, the doubles um, are a little bit um, smaller. Let's see here, I have some of those. Oh, let's see. Oh, here they are. Here's a couple. This is just the double twisted spirals. Uh, one in like a camo and an orange and then this is just the multiple uh, shiny metal, band, metal bands. And uh, So those are just a couple. And then of course you can just do a regular dangle in a multicolored uh, quadrafish. And that, no, this looks like that. I saw this uh, on someone's channel. I sorry, I don't remember who, uh, but this was really cute. It incorporates beads, and this was kind of like a girly camo type of a keychain. I thought it was really cute. And uh, let's see, this was my own design. I actually wanted to call it a different name, but it, that name was already taken by somebody else. I really thought it would be appropriate to call it a, a dragon tail because of the ridges. But I think dinosaurs have scales and ridges too, so I decided to call it the uh, Lacy Dinosaur. Um, it's, it's based off of Quadrifish. The bumps are because there's a different tension in the bands, and I do have a tutorial on my channel on that as well. 
And let's see, what else? Oh, here's some, uh, I like making uh, duct tape cozies for my cans, uh, my soda pop cans. I made this one as a flat one, so if the cans are a little bit different in size, I can wrap them. Um, I've got two Velcro dots here. One is for actual 12 ounce cans, and the other one I can loosen it and it actually will also fit my 20 ounce uh, soda bottle. So that's why that's got two Velcro dots on it. And of course I like drinking the one liter bottles and so I had to make one that was big enough to go around my one liter bottle to soak up the sweat so I don't ha have my hands wet when I'm drink taking a drink and then having to type again on my keyboard. And I'm sure a lot of people on my channel have already seen my uh, recent tutorial on how to make a homemade tripod holder um, for your phones. And so this was the most recent one that I made. And uh, so if you want to check that out, you can. I don't have any of my duct tape wallets um, handy, only because I left one of them at work. And I don't make a lot of extras. I primarily make uh, special orders or custom orders on my wallets. I make all the different types of wallets, the um, bifolds. Uh, now I don't make trifolds. I haven't really made those. I'm not interested in making those, but I make the bifolds, the accordion wallets, the Lux accordion wallets. Um, my version of uh, Duct Tape Susie's portfolio. Um, I make cell phone wallets. Um, I can make them with a flap that you can see through or not, it's your preference. I use um, the sheet protectors, uh, non-glare sheet protectors you can buy at like Office Depot to make the ones that are see-through for the cell phones where you can operate your cell phone while it's still inside the little pocketbook. And let's see, what else do I do? Um, well. I think that's probably too long as it is as an introduction on Get to Know Me. Um, but my name is Phyllis, Silver Cats Crafts. I am 58 years old. I might be one of the oldest duct tapers out there. I'm sure I'm not the oldest crafter because there's a lot of us old crafters out there. Uh, but please, I hope you enjoy this new collab channel we have and you check everybody out. Check their personal uh, channels out as well and their Instagrams. And uh, I'm looking forward to our meeting tonight where we're going to decide what next week's theme is going to be. So uh, stay tuned and uh, tell your friends and please subscribe and like our videos. Thank you.